you need to be deported, you Zara Sultana. Recording the time and the location on a constituency visit, this is one of the many security precautions this Labour MP has to take before every single event. This year she's found out that she's received the most threats and serious abuse of any MP online, 68% more than the next most targeted MP. She says a notable uptick since speaking up about the rights of the Palestinian people. What do you get online? I'll, I'll start off with send that to Palestine, they are low on targets. MPs' duties have become more risky for members under threat. In the back of minds are the two MPs killed in their constituencies. House conventions have also been upended by safety concerns. Parliamentary authorities know safety is fundamental to democracy and offer a number of security measures for members. Door knocking can be one of the most exposing moments for an MP. For Zara, she says the majority of her abuse, 54%, has been categorised as Islamophobic. I think the Prime Minister has used his platform to whip up fear, hate and Islamophobia and that is incredibly dangerous. The Prime Minister disputes this, saying he has called out Islamists and the far right, but expressed concern about protests like this one. Zara says it's vital she attends these demonstrations to represent her constituents and community. The more you're in the public sphere, it feels like the more you're being attacked. It weighs heavily. Um, it's difficult, but I remind myself why I, why I got involved in politics in the first place. And I'm reminded about all of these values that I have that I share with millions of other people across the country. Zara says she will now increase her security measures. For some MPs, though, the risks are still too high and said they have had no choice but to step down before the next general election.